So guys, today I'll be checking out Moa Thai for the first time. I think that is the pronunciation. Moa, Moa Thai. So I think this is, I browsed about it. This is like basically like a, a boxing um, style that is mostly based in Thailand. So um, I guess maybe it's not the same kind of boxing or like MMA. Maybe it's a bit it's some different kinds of styles. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this. So this is... Uh, the title of this video is Sen Chai, King of Muay Thai. So, career documentary, this should be fun. Let's get right into it. By the way, shout out to Joseph Vincent. Makes great videos. A historic practitioner of Muay Thai. Hmm. With over 300 this wins involves kicks. and two decades of dominance. Wow. Sen Chai. King Star. This is the greatest Muay Thai fighter of his generation. Maybe one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters ever. Look at that lean back, Whoa. lightning fast lean back. And almost elastic ability to He's dodge laughing. attacks. You know what I mean? There's just something about the guy's character. It's what? just like, his his fighting is his man! outgoing. Man! This is a weird, funky guy, and it makes sense what that he's like that. His fighting wow. is definitely an expression of himself. He has the reflexes of a cat. Jeez. And the speed of a mongoose. Throw it. I dare not. His sweeps and throws are some of the most effective in the sport's history. Woo! He even has his own signature move, like a Street Fighter character. Cartwheel kick. The Man! Kick. This is Senchai's version of a Tiger Uppercut or Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom, perfect timing. When you fight this level, even the blocks. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? Wait, I'm, I'm confused right now. Like, is, is it like, is, wait, wait, wait. Is it that this guy is just so exceptional, or this is how they fight normally? Like, lifting up the legs to the head and like all those things I just saw him do now. Or is it that this guy is just like out of this world? Seriously. Like, if this is like the normal, regular kind of fight in this sport, this is crazy. This is madness. What the hell? There's a magic to his movement. How did Sanchai figure out how to do Muay Thai different than anybody? He's basically the Pele or Sugar Ray Robinson of Muay Thai. Pele of Muay Thai, wow. Muay Thai or Thai boxing is a national sport in Thailand. The sport of Muay Thai has a documented history going back centuries. It's hugely popular. Also, among children, the best fighters are trained from childhood, and so the level of skill and competition is through the roof. Like the great warriors of the past, Sen Chai began training as a child. By eight years old, he was fighting for dollar purses in front of local crowds. Much of his early career isn't available lost to time. Muay Thai is a deep-rooted tradition here. The Lumpini title is considered the most prestigious title in Muay Thai. Senjai would capture it an astounding five times wow. across five weight divisions. He captured his first Lumpini title in 97 at age 16. Man, he can do it all. He can check, he can box, he can clench, he, he can do it all. He burst onto the scene in 95 and has been a fixture of the sport ever since, even today. Beautiful left wow. hand punch there. He's so interesting with his quick switches of the feet and like even the way he throws kicks, he's just got like a little different flavor in everything he does. I don't think he can help it. You know what I mean? There's just something about the guy's character. Nice kick to punch, good balance. Whoa! No playing now, is that? Mm -hmm. 
There is a spiritual side to the art of eight limbs. Waikru is a ritual ceremony performed by Muay Thai fighters directly before engaging in battle. If you're watching on DVD, I can't stress this enough, you need to go to these shows live to appreciate the skills. Man! You can't argue with the skills. You can't argue. Whoa! He's something special. It takes a lot of energy to move around the way he does. Yeah, I'm sure he still shows up to the gym every single day. Too. I'm sure. And he's like holding pads for foreigners and all that stuff. The cartwheel Woo! kick. Senchai is credited for inventing it, and he tries to use it every fight. Mm. He's so good. Man, I was in trending. Still people up. Multiple times a month. <laughs> Have a fight. Good luck. His legs are probably like the the best one of the best trend legs I have seen on screen. Like he's almost moving like he won Fighter of the Year in both 99 and 2008. He's mastered distance management, using teeps and counters to control the action. That was it, his kick is absolutely disgusting. That's a big right hand as well. Nice kick! One of the most stylistic Muay Thai artists ever. Compared to like watching Muay Thai in the States and then going there, the amount of kicks and knees at the door. Mm. I'm looking at fighting like, okay, like when's the next punch gonna happen? These guys throwing kick after kick after kick for five rounds. Seriously. That is something, that is actually very true. I've, 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 I've barely seen punches here. I think it's mostly kicks. Actually, self like it seems kickboxing even has more more punches than uh, this particular sport from what I've I've seen. And kickboxing actually has the word uh, uh, kicks in the in the name of the sport. And from what I've I've seen, it seems like they even have more boxing punches than uh, this is like this sport is mostly the legs. After winning five Lumpini titles, San Chai was revered as an icon in Thailand. To be honest, Davey, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Commentating on a San Chai fight. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> San Chai, obviously, an absolute legend in the sport. Um, his fight against Pornson in Lumpini, wow. His next level skill was always on full display. Always fighting with such ease and comfort. Damn! A true warrior artist. He understood the value of winning the crowd. Depending upon where he was, he'd adjust his style to please that particular crowd. which I love. A nice elbow again! Oh! It's gone. It's gone. That guy is dead. In the crowd, and you'll win your freedom. I will win the crowd. 
I will give them something they've never seen before. He has so much balance. Take his left leg, bring someone down, and he's, he's barely even moving. He's still balanced. Damn! Right, everyone's been talking about it, and everyone's came to see Sanchez against McCall, two of Thailand's best fighters. Sanchez already fast start with the left body kick. <laughs> wow, the balance <laughs> is just fantastic. Against That's one of I'm the saying. best fighters in the world, Sanchai put on a master class. Jumping left kick into a left kick again <laughs> as, as he lands. That is ridiculous balance. Known as a tricky fighter. One well, of Sanchai's old tricks there. This what? guy's cartwheel this guy kick something from else. Sanchai this early on. <laughs> round one lands it flush as well. Oh. Beautiful takedown there. Catch this guy has so much balance. Guys, can you, can you see what I'm trying to say? He, he can kick someone, take someone down, and he's still balanced. He's not even moving. He's like, what? King Takon's right body kick. Hey, how you doing? The cameraman doesn't even show us the round number here. Really? Really? The oh, cameraman is. What kind of simp cameraman is this? I mean, the lady is fine, I get it, but what the hell? Yeah. Sanchez, a very tricky fighter. A lot of flash, a lot of faking. It's amazing the speed in which Sanchez can move around to Takon's back. His ability to maneuver the ring was on full display. Leaping kicks, cartwheels, knees, elbows. <gasps> it was an entire arsenal brought to us by the GOAT, Sanchez. Oh, solid left kick, yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful safety by Sanchai. Skipping inside seat from Sanchai there. Good block. Oh, Whoa. big rear leg and teeth. His yeah. trickster ways are a brilliant set of skills that keep opponents off balance. They're just amazing. Yeah. Back with a double left of his own. Pakorn was a Lumpini champion. Sanchai made him look lost. Big cheap from Sanchai, getting out of trouble. Hey, the smiling. Of these two titles. And no, after five to the world's sensational best. rounds of Muay Thai Absolutely boxing, amazing we now go to the judges' scorecards. In, in the red corner, Sanchai, PK, Sanchai Muay Thai. The win sent Sanchai notice to the Muay Thai Jewish world. Sanchai's reign was far from over. Sanchai is an ambassador of all Muay Thai represents. A calm, controlled art that's been honed over centuries in one of the most beautiful places on earth, Thailand. Sanchai has a knack for fighting opponents who are considerably larger than himself. He's developed a reputation as a giant slayer. Whoa! Against foreign God. fighters, weight was little more than a number. Man. This is unreal. As Wait, I don't know what class is in this, in this spot. This, this guy should not be fighting this guy. Sanchai fought men who towered over him. Sanchai obviously very, very tricky. Great balance, lots of faking, and steps forwards, you know, hard shots. Even in the elite die ranks, Sanchai was consistently giving up two to three pounds to his opponents. Wow. <laughs> The cartwheel kick is highly difficult to execute, and yet Sen Chai does so consistently. He seamlessly switches between. That is so difficult, man. That is so. That's that's that move is so difficult. That move that he does, putting his hand on the ground and going up with his two legs, that is a very difficult move. Right when you are fighting, it could go very wrong. It could go very very wrong. Distance and uses incredible feints to lure opponents into mistakes. It's an exciting style that keeps opponents off balance. 
the vicious elbow. Sanchai just does so many tricks and feints and everything, doesn't he? His balance is just amazing, Davey. Yes. <sighs> Whoa! Man! <laughs> By way of knockout in the first round, Thailand Sanchai! PK Sanchai with you! Here, Sanchai launches into his signature move. <laughs> then comes right back with a head kick. Oh, oh, oh. Against another significantly larger man, San Chai took him apart. Yeah, San Chai is just his skill. What the hell? Here, he feigns a kick, then slips around behind his opponent. Man. Landing the devastating body shot. Man. Not much feeling out here. Um, oh, they're letting the shots go, are they? This is the tale of most of Sanchai's fights. A one-sided drumming, a thorough domination, which usually ends in a spectacular knockout. Against Sean, this guy's legs are so strong. The way he gives, when look at the force that the person goes down with just from that kick like that. Clancy, another larger man. It was more of the same. He bends without breaking. <laughs> With so many tricks in his bag, Sanchai is impossible to anticipate. An excellent counter punch ends the bout in an instant. Oh, Let's see that again. What the hell? I'm sorry for laughing. I'm sorry for laughing. The way that guy was like, okay, yeah, yeah he did, he did good, he did good, but I'm still here, I'm still here, but I, <laughs> oh god, oh god, man, damn, this guy is incredible, jeez. A brutal elbow landed right on target. Whoa. The vicious Whoa. first round knockout. Oh. Mm. Man. Jeez. 
pay attention to this question mark kick from i'm so stiff man jesus i'm so stiff sunshine it's just a thing of beauty He often his opponents with his flamboyant defense. <laughs> man, I love this, man. Whoa! Senchai has never lost in Thai fight. What? A perfect 61 and 0. Whoa! A strike so quick, it is Whoa. virtually unblockable. One of my favorite kind of knockouts, the delayed knockout. Two. When the opponent takes a few moments to realize that they've been knocked out already. Delayed knockout. I wanted to end. It's almost like you're in a trance, like. And with one of my favorite Sanchai moments. His opponent, Gabriel Dos Santos, got a little pushy pre-fight. Sanchai laughed it off. However, as the match began, Sanchai's foot got caught in the ropes. When this occurs, Dos Santos attempts to strike, which is considered extremely dirty in the sport. The ref oh, steps in okay. to allow Sanchai to free his leg. But Senchai is not happy about it. What ensued was Senchai imposing his will on Dos Santos. Toying with him. Embarrassing him. Man. He deserves that. He deserves that. He broke, he, he broke that rule. This is not a street fight. It's not a shoes fight. I mean, if, they, if, if that is the rule, it's, it's almost like in boxing. If someone is down, you should not be going to go and continue to, to be boxing the person. So, it's, it's, so these are rules. This is not a shoes fight. He deserves it. Fuck he him. broke out every trick in the book to make sure Dos Santos forever remembered the night he dared cheap shot the Muay Thai GOAT. Whoa, it's just playing. Whoa, so disrespectful. Damn. Wow, damn. This guy is so elegant. Senchai is considered by many to be the greatest practitioner of Muay Thai in the sport's history. An exciting style mixed with tremendous showmanship. Woo! A fluidity that keeps foes off balance as he seamlessly moves between Whoa. styles. <laughs> For two decades, he's reigned atop the sport. Dazzling spectators and inspiring the next generation Man. of great warriors. Wow. Sanchai, King Star, Goat of Muay Thai. Nobody. Man, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This was a video suggestion was sent to me on in my email and I wasn't really excited to watch the video because most of the time, a lot of the times, um shall I, we, shall I, shall I, we longer videos, you know, because of the fact that I have to own my generator to be able to choose videos. So anytime a video is a bit too long, I'm thinking about 
how I'm going to buy, you know, fuel for my generator and all that and all that. And um, obviously, if I was making more money from this channel, that wouldn't be an issue. I'd have just been able to afford the fuel and do whatever I have to do. But since I, I'm barely making any money, I have to try and, you know, manage how I'm living my daily life and while also running the channel. So sometimes when I when people recommend me longer videos, I'm like. <sighs> I mean, what the hell? This is going to just take like one hour to shoot, and that is how much money of how much amount of money for the fuel and all that. That's what I think about. But I don't regret this. I do not regret this. This was incredible. This was absolutely incredible. I did not expect that I would love this video like this. I, I have to be honest with you. I didn't expect it whatsoever. This was absolutely surreal, man. This was surreal. I didn't expect this. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Wow. And obviously, it seems like he's the GOAT. And from the way he's fighting, I don't think other people are, are going to fight this way and make the game to look this interesting. But if the game is this interesting, jeez, it's actually more interesting than at least from the boxing or MMA. Like, I'm serious. I've not seen a fight. Maybe this video just, maybe this video is making it look better than it, it, it should be. But this is incredible. Maybe it's just this guy. Maybe it's just this Sanchai guy that's making it in, uh, um, interesting like this. But this is absolutely insane. Wow. Guys, I really enjoyed this. Thank you. Um, that guy that sent me this particular suggestion. Thank you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the re reaction. Hit the like button to get this video out to more people. If you don't hit the like button, people are not, the YouTube algorithm will not know that you love this video. Please, guys, hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.